Hi guys, I hope you're all doing well. So today I'm going to be filming some kind of Christmas makeup. I'm not exactly sure what I kind of want to film. I keep thinking I want to do like a cool tone silver smoky eye today and either with a nude or red lip I might put on both just to see what it looks like. I think for majority of this look I'm going to use like the cool tone shades in the Too Faced Chocolate Bonbons palette. I do apologize for my voice. I am still a little bit sick. I've had a cold for like the last two weeks but the cough and the raspy voices lasted like a week and a half maybe longer Jared's sick as well so yeah let's just get started okay so I'm going to prime my eyelids and I'm just going to use a concealer I'm just going to use a Maybelline fit me concealer this one is in the color pen light it's going to put that on my eyelids I really can't clear my throat like it keeps doing this where my voice just disappears I would love to hear what kind of Christmas makeup looks you guys would like to see because I feel like I'm a little bit stuck at the moment. So I want to know what you want to see. What kind of looks should I do? Maybe an all drugstore look next time? I don't know. Let me know what you want to see. So now I'm just going to set my eyelids. I'm just going to use the Maybelline Matte Make Powder. This one is in the color 30 Natural Beige. I'm just going to be using a fluffy brush. This one is a Zoeva 221 brush. Technically, it's for the crease, but... I'm just going to use it to fluff over all this powder just so the concealer doesn't crease and that my shadows blend out easier later. The cooler is also on at the moment because it's actually quite hot today so if you can hear that whooshing kind of sound and it's annoying you, I'm sorry but I'm not going to sweat. <laughs> up here because it's upstairs and it's always twice as hot up here. Okay so I'm going to go in with my Too Faced Chocolate Bonbons palette and I'm going to take the colors Almond Truffle and Cashew Chew. So these colors right here. I'm just going to mix them together and use this kind of as my transition shade. I'm just going to use the same fluffy brush. I haven't used this eyeshadow palette in a while and I kind of saw it sitting in my drawer and I was like you know what I feel like I need to use it just because I feel like I've neglected it for a while. So now I'm just going to take Divinity, which is like a matte white shadow, and I'm just going to put this on my brow bone just to kind of clean up my blending here. It always goes patchy right here. I have no idea why. I think it's like my skin texture or something, but I'm going to try and blend it out. <laughs> My nieces are over, so if you hear like really loud noises, it is them probably running amok. I'm just going to pack it on. I know that looks ridiculous, but I'm going to pack it on. I'm almost going to bake my brow bone. That sounds really weird. So now I'm just taking a fluffy brush and I'm just going to blend that white out. I'm just using a 2-2 full brush. There's a waver brush. I'm just going to try and blend out this crease. It's always this eye. That's a pain in the bum. I do get eczema on my face, so that could probably be why. Sometimes I get it under my eyes as well. I'm also going to go in with Pecan Praline, I think that's how you say it, which is kind of like this grey colour, grey taupe. And I'm also going to put this in the crease. I don't know how dark I want to go with the eyes today, so after I do this, I'll put the lid color on and then we'll figure out if we want to go darker in the crease or make it really smoky. I'm just grabbing my Inglot palette. I'm going to use this silver shadow right here. This one is 151. I did stick like all the numbers on the back because they don't have color names, I only have numbers. And I'm going to put that straight on my lid. I might pick it up with my finger to be honest. It looks much more pigmented when I do that. So I'm thinking I might make the look just a tiny bit darker. So I'm going to grab the color Mocha and again I'm going to grab Almond Truffle and I'm going to mix the two together just to kind of make the crease look a little bit deeper. I feel like that Inglot shadow just doesn't work very well. See how it's just come off as soon as I've touched my eye? I haven't used the Inglot shadows in a while though. We'll have to reapply it.
I'm just reapplying that silver shadow because it decided to just fall off my eye. It's like literally all down here. I just like put more on my face. So I'm just applying some more. Okay, so I've just cleaned up my eyeshadow and I'm really disappointed with that silver eyeshadow on my lid. So I think I'm going to take this Makeup Geek pigment and this one is in the color Stargazer. It's like a white shimmery pigment. I'm just going to dip my brush in this pigment and I'm going to see if it will stick to my eyelid. Otherwise I will have to put like a base on top of the eyeshadow. Okay, so I'm going to grab my NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk. I'm going to see if I can just quickly shove some of this over the eyeshadow since it just is not doing anything for me right now. I'm really disappointed with that silver one. It just ruined everything. I just wanted to have a really bright, frosty eye. Okay, going back in with that pigment. Let's see what this looks like. Already it looks so much better because it has something to stick to. Oh my god, that's so pretty. I don't have any foundation on because I knew I would make a mess of my face. I'm already in love. This has just turned the whole look around, to be honest. Okay, so now we're going to go in with liner. I'm going to use my Maybelline Eye Studio Gel Liner, and I'm going to use a Zoeva 315 Fine Liner Brush. So it's like this bent curved brush. Let's see how well I can do my eyeliner today. I'm going to go fix my liner off camera now because I kind of need to get like my face right into the mirror but this is what I have so far. I really need to fix this bit right here. So I'm just going to fix that up and I will be right back. I know what you're thinking, I got really carried away with my eyeliner, like usual. Um, I ended up going over with my Essence Liquid Ink Eyeliner, this is the waterproof one. I found it in the bottom of my drawer and I thought why not use it and then I got crazy wings on my face, like it was really small and then for some reason it just got bigger and bigger and bigger and it's almost touching my eyebrow now. So for mascara I'm going to use my Ciate Wonder Wand Mascara, this is the one that came with Chloe Morello's eyeshadow palette. Just going to apply some mascara then I'll put on lashes and then we can do our face makeup okay so I'm going to put on my lashes I'm just using the manicare Adriana lashes these are my favorite ones if you've been watching me forever you would know I love these lashes I feel like they just really open up my eyes just because I feel like my eyes are quite small they're not very big but these ones just really open up my eye So moving on to the face, I'm going to use my Benefit Professional Primer. This is just a little sample size. I'm just going to put this on my T-zone area. So around my nose, where I've got the biggest pores. Also around here, that car is so loud. Just on my forehead as well. I'm going to go in with another primer. This is the Ulta 3 Primer Ready to Glow Illuminating Lightweight Paraben Free Primer. So that's quite a long name. So I'm just going to apply this to my face. It's quite a large bottle. So I feel like it would take a really long time to go through this. I've only used this once before and I seem to really like it. It just feels like kind of silicone, really smooth. For foundation, I'm going to use my MAC Studio Fix Fluid in NC35. I do have Fake Tan on my body. I think I might mix it with another foundation just to thin it out a little bit. But I'm going to start off with this and then just see how I feel. Just going to dot this on my face. I'm just using my Beauty Blender to blend it out. I'm sorry if I don't seem happy. I am. I'm just like really chill at the moment. I've also got cramps which doesn't really help. I feel like this foundation doesn't really match the tan I'm wearing. I'm wearing a different tan. I'm using the Bondi Sands Ultra Dark. This is like really yellow olive and this one's kind of orange. I'm not sure. I'm going to take a little bit of my Steel Stay All Day foundation. I'm going to see if I can maybe change the color a little bit. I feel like maybe this foundation is going to match much better. So I'll just use a little bit of that. 
So now I'm going to go in with my NYX Dark Circle Concealer. So it's just like a salmon toned concealer. I'm just going to use this to cover my dark circles. I'm just going to blend that out with my beauty blender and then I'll go in with my normal highlighting concealer. So I've got my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in 15 Fair but I don't really have much left of it so I'm going to take what I can get from it. I need to get another one but this colour is always out of stock just because it is the lightest I think. Okay, so I'm going to quickly use my NYX Wonder Stick Highlight and Contour Stick. So I'm going to take the light shade and I'm just going to do a little bit more highlighting. So just here on my chin, a little bit around my mouth and on my forehead. And I'll do a little bit of contouring as well. I don't always cream contour, but I thought... I may as well do a little bit today. I'm just going in with my Australis Banana Powder and I'm just going to take it on my Beauty Blender and just really pack it under my eyes just so it doesn't crease. Going to bring that on the side of my nose as well. So now I'm taking my Laura Mercier Translucent Powder and I'm just going to do a little bit of baking. I don't always bake but today I feel like it. So I thought, why not? Just around my smile lines as well to try and stop them from creasing. I don't feel like it stops it. It definitely does help, but it still creases on me eventually. So now I'm going to use my Very Sad Savvy Press Powder. Really love this powder. I've only been using it probably the last two weeks and I really, really like it. It's a shame it did shatter just because it's so soft. This one is in the color 3 Sand Beige. I'm just going to use this kind of on the outer areas. On my nose. I'm just going to wipe this bake off. To bronze, I'm going to use my Revlon Sculpt and Highlight Contour Kit. I'm going to use this color right here to bronze. Sorry, I'm trying not to tilt it too much so the product doesn't fall out. So I feel like that bronzer wasn't kind of bronzy enough for me. So I'm going to take my Too Faced the Bronze and the Beautiful palette. And I'm going to take this Sun Bunny bronzer right here. So this one, it's a beautiful shimmery bronzer. I'm just going to go over just to make my face look more glowy. So going back in with my Revlon Contour Kit, I'm going to take the Cooler Brown and I'm going to use this to contour. I'm hoping it will be dark enough. If not, I'll just have to use something else. I'm going to do a little bit of nose contouring with the same color as well, just really lightly because I'm not always that good at nose contouring. I'm just grabbing the banana shade out of that palette and I'm just going to clean up my contour. I'm just cleaning up under here as well. I feel like my contour is very extreme today, but I guess we're going for a dramatic kind of look. So for blush, I'm going to use Makeup Geek Spellbound Blush. I have not really used this one and I've had it for ages, so let's put it to some use, I guess. It's because I always go for like really shimmery blushes. I just really like how they look. So anyway, I'm going to take the NYX Strobe of Genius Illuminating Palette and I think I'm going to use this color right here, but I might mix a few in. Oh my God, this is so nice. I honestly really love this palette. I'm just going to take that Bake Off to reveal a very clean contour. I might just put a little bit of 
highlight on the tip of my nose. So we're just going back to the eyes. I'm going to take Almond Truffle again and I'm just going to blend that out on the lower lash line. I'm just going to go in with Mocha as well. So just that warm brown. Just blend it out. So for my waterline, I'm going to use my NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk just to open up my eyes. And then I'm just going to put some mascara on and then the eyes are all done. Okay, so we're going to do the lips. I'm really torn in between a nude and red lip. I think a nude lip would look absolutely beautiful with this kind of makeup look. It just looks beautifully angelic and very open-eyed, doll-like kind of makeup look, I guess. But I feel like because it's like a holiday makeup look, I kind of want to do a red lip. So please feel free to do whatever you please, but I think I might do a red lip. I'm just going to use my Ulta 3 lip liner. This one is in the color Wildfire. So I did a really crappy job of putting on my lip liner, but I'm going to use Smashbox Be Legendary Lipstick. And this one is in the color Bing and it's a matte lipstick. Okay guys, so I'm pretty much done here. I hope you guys enjoyed this makeup tutorial. I actually really love it with the red lip. I wasn't completely sure just because I love nude lips so much, but after I put this on, I really like it and I love this lipstick color and even like the finish of it, it's not too matte. It's just kind of in between. So please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up for me and all my social networks are always linked down below. So my Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, and Facebook is linked down below if you wanna go follow me on any of those. I always post on my Instagram looks that are coming up so if you got my Instagram you probably will be the first to know when I'm going to be posting a new makeup tutorial or a new makeup look. Please make sure you leave me suggestions down below on what other kind of holiday makeup looks you want to see or maybe even New Year's kind of makeup looks. So anyway I'll see you guys really soon in my next video. Bye! Hi guys.